This is a day that bars, restaurants, and gyms have had circled on their calendars for weeks now. Uh, ever since the last lockdown was announced, it has been nothing but pain for small businesses that have been shut down. Some restaurants, of course, getting by with their patios, but a lot of them are greeting this day with a lot of happiness. Just excited to get people back sitting at the bar yakking. I remember the first time all of this was over, the first time somebody ordered a beer at my bar, like right here, and drank it. I like, I, I, I almost cried, which is just weird, right? Because I'm not especially emotional. But uh, it was just like a nice moment of just somebody, I don't know what it represents, just being able to go out, see people, and um, I mean, everything that this place is about is just like getting community back and mm -hmm. talking about the game, getting some comedy, getting some music going. It's all gonna be worth it when I see somebody come in and celebrate something or have a birthday or just have a sandwich, just have a spicy chicken sandwich. How getting this patio working? Oh man, it's been amazing. <laughs> like it's, it's been so hard keeping live performances and getting to be able to, you know, do what we love and keep people happy. So it's been so nice that we've been able to not stop and keep things going. So restaurants like Blackjack Barbecue have been able to pivot and make an adjustment uh, with their patio, saving them, getting them through this latest uh, shutdown. Gyms, which have also been closed, opening up again at 50% capacity. They say it is imperative that they open because they play a key role in helping people with their mental health. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get them back in, they gotta get back on routine, and we had people on that were coming every day, every single day before COVID, and next thing you know, COVID hit, and they fall into their old, same patterns, same routines, and now they're in a funk. They're trying to get out, they, want, they need motivation getting back. I would argue that the benefits of taking care of one's health outweigh the risks of spreading COVID at this juncture, and I'd be very upset at the government uh, of Ontario if they did that again. People now know the limits of, you know, COVID exposure and the contact, and we can judge for ourselves whether it's safe. You know, we all want to give up, we all want to slow down. Fighter training is, is hitting that point and pushing past it and raising your threshold, your, through your threshold, and evolving, evolving every day. I learned when fighting that Every time I train, I have to evolve. How does that feel to be doing all that stuff? It definitely <laughs> feels really good. I'm kind of tired, but it's so good to be back. If there's one thing a lot of these small businesses agree on is that if there is another lockdown, they're not sure they would actually survive. Many of them have taken on uh, piles of debt during the pandemic. They're trying their best to work at paying that off. But they're hoping that this reopen is the one that sticks.